Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Claytano. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And we have a lot of things that I want to talk about today, so I'm just going to get right into it as quick as possible. The first thing that I want to talk about is the immediate thing that you saw when you opened this video, which is the pink overlay. And it is for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So every October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and it's something that I've actually done for a lot of years previously as a hockey player. I would always change my hockey tape that I use every single game from either black or white to pink specifically. And it's just a tradition that I've wanted to incorporate into my YouTube channel because I feel like there's a lot more people watching my YouTube channel than there were watching me play hockey. So whatever I can do to help spread awareness is what I wanna do. And I figured this is just the best way to do it. So you guys are gonna see this pink, nice, nice pink overlay for the rest of the month of October. I've actually had a lot of friends and family members uh, and friends of family members that have been affected by breast cancer and whatever I can do to give back is just, you know, it's just something small or minute. Um, it, it's just something that I wanna be a part of and participate in helping give back to that community. So. Aside from that, though, I have just gotten back from the LA regionals, and I gotta say, guys, I am super humbled by the turnout. Uh, I think that the event went overall really well, and the next time is actually gonna be very soon in New York. I will be commentating the New York Regional Championship. So if you guys are going to be in the area during uh, October 6th or 7th, right, is when it is. Um, definitely come out, check out the events, and come say hi to me, come meet me. I really, really enjoy that kind of stuff because what happened at the one last week in LA is that I sat there for a really long time uh, just commentating, right? We only got a few, maybe three or four, five minute breaks throughout the entire event. And that whole time, we only got three or four, five minute breaks. And as soon as I, you know, went on break or jumped down from the podium, there was a lot of people that were wanting to meet me. And I really wanted to give you guys like my full attention and spend time with you guys and talk to you guys and ask you questions and where you guys want my channel to be going, you know, sign autographs as well. And then I had my producer coming up to me saying, hey, Clay, you got to if you got to go to the bathroom, go now because you're back on in two minutes. And I really wanted to talk to Calm to us and give me more time to spend with my fans because I met a lot of cool people there guys and I wish I could have just spent more time in getting to know you and getting to talk to you because um, just a couple people that you know really stood out to me were uh, this this one girl she actually gave me this mug and I actually I actually might have it right here in my backpack already still so yeah she gave me this mug and she was like super, super excited to see me. She wanted to take a picture with me. And like, it, it, it just made me like emotional to see people in person and, and talk to them. There was also a, uh, a Faye cosplayer there that uh, came up and, and talked to me and she was super excited as well. Uh, there was another family there. It was uh, a dad and his kid who was about, I don't know, maybe 15, 16 years old. And they were like, man, Clay, we really love your videos. Uh, we watch you on our big screen TV all the time, almost every single day. And just the fact that, you know, you guys say stuff like that to me is like, it's overwhelming. It really is. And I know I get a lot of hate on my videos, but just those couple things, those few people, they really just like make me want to keep going. So like all those little pokes, all those little jabs from the haters, whatever else, uh, the, just one or two of those types of comments, just like they heal those pokes, you know? Um, I'm not gonna lie, those pokes get to me sometimes. I do my best to try to, you know, ignore it or go past it, but it it really, it really is hard. But you guys, the the fans that I met in person, especially, uh, you know, you make it, you make it better. You motivate me to keep going and I really appreciate that. There was a ton of other people though that are there. Uh, I am going to post a full vlog of all three days, each three days actually, one vlog of each day that I was there really. And you guys can see like all the hype and all the, the passion that was there from the people in the building. And it's not gonna be posted on this channel. Again, I don't do the vlogs on this channel anymore. They're all posted on my vlog channel. 
There is a link to, to it in the description and I actually just rebranded it to Claytano Vlogs because it's mainly just vlogs of my experiences throughout this YouTubing career that I am kind of finding myself in now. And you guys can go check that out, but here's a sneak peek of a couple uh, just highlights that I uh, that I thought were awesome from the event, and then we'll get into the uh, master pack. Okay, so guys, check it out, and uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, we just got to the venue. Fucking up the door. That's crazy. What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing? It doesn't start till 10. Why's everybody here? Yeah, maybe last night. <laughs> First one. Jesus, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Yeah. What's going on, man? How's it going? Hey, hey, how you doing? Nice yeah. to meet Thanks for coming out. How yeah. you doing? I'm, I got nervous now. <laughs> In the first intermission, guys, just do a quick vlog. Koopa, how's it going on the first one? It's so exciting. Look at the crowd, guys. The crowd's huge. The guys are pain in the butt, you guys. <laughs> He's doing great. Got my boy Alex going on the hot seat. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Fans, Kings, and Rex. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to you. I want you to do some summons for me. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, I'll do some summons. We'll do it right now. Here, do it right now. Uh oh. All right, guys, we just finished up the event here at the LA Regional event. And we got Island Grown, Copy, Amy, and. Uh, Alright, but now let's get into the master packs. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to these, but those are a few things that I really want to say and get off my chest first and foremost, and now kind of just get right into it again now with the master pack. So here we go. The um, Let's talk about the $49.99 one first. You get one legendary scroll, which already, when's the last time you've seen a legendary scroll in a $50 pack? doesn't happen very often so i think this is just already something really cool uh the next thing you see is a double mon and a light dark scroll also in the 49.99 pack that's like pretty much half off of what you would normally pay for the main legendary pack okay so that's already saying look this is a good deal and then you get the 750 crystals plus 100 crystals every single day for 15 days which turns out to be uh, 2,250 crystals total, including those regular 750 crystals that you get off the start. So not only do you get that, but you also get this, this super angel mon that I think is pretty cool. It makes your monster max level no matter what it's at. So you could be four star, five star, six star. I would recommend just using it on six star monsters. And it just reaches it to the max level no matter what. Just boom, done like that. And I think that's a really cool item that they implemented into the game. Super Angel Mon. And uh, I like it. I enjoy it. It'll make things easier for me. I can just pick one monster that I want to use and bam, it's level 40. So overall, I think it's a good pack. I'm going to get it myself personally. Not saying that you guys have to get it, but you guys, maybe you can watch the summons and decide whether you want to buy yours or not. But moving on now to the... Um, the bigger one, the $99.99 one, you get this legendary attribute scroll, which is a legendary scroll. However, you can change the attributes to whatever you want. So it's really just narrowing down the options of the monsters that you could potentially get. So if you're really wanting like a, a Tiana, Sierra, uh, Lucian even, or any wind monsters, wind panda, stuff like that, that you know only can come from a wind scroll, I would say go with the wind one. If there's other monsters that you really got, you guys really want to get, then you know switch switch the attribute around, get the one you want, of course, and it just heightens your chances. Whether or not you know you're really gonna get the monster that you want, most likely, you know, nine times, ninety nine times out of a hundred, you're probably not gonna get the monster that you want. But there is that chance out of a hundred that you can get the exact monster that you want, and it's a little bit higher chance than what it normally be if you just buy the legendary scroll pack. Aside from that, you get this Forbidden Evolution scroll, which I also think is a really cool item. And basically, it just no matter what, it makes a monster become six stars and level one. So you can pick whatever monster you want, immediately make it six stars, and then use the Super Angel Mon to make it level 40, and just bam, bam, up and level 40. So it's pretty cool. And then the second thing that we have here is the Rune uh, five legendary runes, right? So you get a whole rune pack, six star legendary runes times five. And again, pick the rune that you guys think will help you out the most. 
most likely, I would say for new players, uh, I would go with Violent Runes. So if you can't farm dragons yet and you can only farm giants, go with the Violent Runes because those are going to help you progress a little bit faster throughout the game. If you can already do giants and dragons, then I would say maybe go with like a, a Will Rune if you can't do Necro yet. And then for me personally, I'm actually going to go with Will because I want to build a faster Swift Will team and having legendary runes it will just make that super easy. And then also getting the five reappraisal stones will make it a little bit better to get fast Will runes. And hopefully those will take care of my offset runes that don't really provide as much utility as a Will rune would. Uh, and then also you get about 3,250 crystals. So overall, really good packs. I'm going to buy them both and then I'll be right back. All right, so I just got them and now let's go to, uh, let's go open them up. I'm going to actually open up the scrolls today for you guys on camera, except for the light dark scroll. I'm actually saving up as many as possible to do like a mass light dark summon because I really need some better light dark monsters. I don't have a lot of the key nat for, um, light dark monster so we'll try to get some of those later on but let me grab one of these and it looks like you have to do it as soon as you do it so i'm actually going to keep that in my box right now grab my uh, ductile runes or whatever stones whatever and then let's see what will runes i get i'm a little nervous about these but i don't really have too much hopes i'm just i'm just hoping for speed that's really all it is i just want a lot of speed and i have max runes so i'm gonna go empty out my rune slot and i'll be right back one more time all right, so I emptied out my rune slot, and now we can move forward with this. So um, let's just see. Let's just see what we get. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Here we go. All right, no speed. Pretty much uh, worthless rune, right? Nothing I can do with that. All right, cool. Nothing I can do with that either. Thank you so much, Comp to us. Appreciate you. All right, awesome. Nothing I can do with that either. So, so far, so good. Nothing I can do with that either. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, that was a complete fail. That was really bad. I didn't get a, I didn't get a single subset of speed on any single one of those runes. The only thing that I wanted was a speed subset and not a single one. Awesome. Awesome. That's so awesome. Oh, my God. I'm so... So happy right now. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. All right, let's uh, let's do the scrolls. Hopefully, we'll have some better luck on the scrolls. You never know. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of these mystical scrolls real quick to get warmed up, and then I will move on now to the legendary scrolls here. I got the one legendary and the one legendary water scroll. So we're gonna do the legendary scroll first. Hope for the best, cross our fingers. Good vibes equals good monsters. Galleon. Um, not a monster that I really need, but definitely useful for some of them, some people. Uh, a lot of people actually. I'm just sorry that I took Galleon out of rotation. If you were summoning right when I summoned this, I stole your Galleon, I apologize. Watch us get another Galleon. Watch us get another Galleon. That'd be something, wouldn't it? I'd get two Galleons in a row. Uh, Water Dice Magician, not really too much use for him, unfortunately, in my opinion. There might be some places that you can use him if you don't have any other monsters besides him. But for me, I'm probably just going to feed him to my Monty and uh, leave it at that and call it a day. The scrolls were kind of a bust, and so was the, the runes. <laughs> I feel like I got cheated a little bit. Uh, you guys can let me know your opinions on the Master Packs. I think it's still a good option. I got my Devilmon, which is uh, really good. But for 150 bucks, I got a Galleon and a Water Dice Magician. And I definitely needed the crystals, though. I was, like, at 50 crystals or something or a couple hundred crystals. And I needed to re-up. So hopefully these will last me quite some time now. And if you guys think that this is a good pack to buy, go ahead and drop your comments in the comment section below. I still feel like it's better than any other typical. I still feel like it's better than other packs if you were to pull some better things. Uh, unfortunately, I did not. But other than that, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Definitely like and subscribe. And as always, stay soupy. Don't be potatoes. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right.